What's up, fellas? Welcome back to Effortless Gent. Today, we're going to talk about the five shoes that every guy needs in his wardrobe for spring and summer. So the weather's finally warming up and it's starting to get a little hot and sticky and you want to look fresh, but honestly, you want to stay cool too, right? I hear you there. Let's get into the five shoe essentials that you need for spring and summer that also work well with your lean wardrobe. Oh, by the way, if you're new here and you don't know what a lean wardrobe is, I put together a few free guides for you. Just click on the link above in the card and that's gonna take you to a download page where you can grab those free e-guides and that's gonna get you on your way to building a lean wardrobe of your very own. All right, so shoe number one the unlined or unstructured suede loafer. If you haven't given loafers a shot yet, you definitely should. They add a bit of prep and polish to your look. And on top of that, if they are unlined, they're gonna keep you really cool and comfortable, especially in the warmer months. You can go with traditional brown, but I prefer lighter neutral colors like light gray, taupe or tan, maybe olive. Those colors look really good, especially as you wear a lighter color palette in the warmer months anyway. All right, shoe number two, the classic white sneaker. White sneaks are a year round thing, but in the spring and summer, they look especially good when you're wearing lighter and more vibrant colors. If you get the right pair, they will go with everything from jeans and chinos all the way to trousers. You don't have to stick to white necessarily, although that's gonna be your most versatile color. You could also try the other colors like I mentioned earlier, light gray, taupe, tan, those are all gonna be really neutral and really versatile, but of course, white is always your best bet. An alternative to the standard leather sneaker will be something like in canvas, or maybe a knit or a perforated material that's gonna help keep you cool. So what you're sacrificing here is formality. If you're wearing a canvas sneaker or something that's knit or perforated, you're gonna have to stick with a more casual outfit, which is totally fine. All right, shoe number three, the suede driving shoe. You might confuse these with the penny loafer style that I mentioned a bit earlier, but these are quite different. Driving shoes definitely give your look more of that European vibe. Like imagine you're driving a Ferrari down the Italian coast. These are the kinds of shoes that you wanna wear. Driving shoes have a more elegant silhouette, so you're gonna to wanna to wear them with a really slim pant with no break. Or if you have a pair of slim tapered shorts, that'll also look really good. As far as color, again, I would stick to something in the menswear neutrals. That's gonna give you a little bit more versatility. But if this is your second or a third pair, you can definitely go for something more vibrant and exciting because they do come in a ton of colors and it just looks great during the spring and summer. Shoe number four, the unlined chuck -a boot You can definitely rock boots in the summer, but if you wanna stay cool, make sure you find a pair that is unlined. That's gonna be the most comfortable for you. Obviously you get the same benefit as you do with unlined loafers. These are more comfortable and softer and they will keep you cooler longer. So these chuckas from Allen Edmonds are a good example of something that's more formal. You can still dress them up or down. You could wear them with jeans and chinos, but you could also wear them with trousers. If you can find a pair with a leather sole, all the better. Now the Clark's Desert Boots, which are are arguably one of the most popular kinds of chukka boots that you can find, come with a crepe sole. So that tends to be a little bit more on the casual side, which it looks great with jeans and chinos, but you can't necessarily wear those with dress pants or trousers. Again, with colors, stick to light neutrals. Although for my chukkas, I do like this snuff color. It's like that rich caramel brown. It's really nice and it kind of goes well in the spring and summer, but also in the fall and winter. A great runner up is that taupe tan color. I feel like that goes really well with any sort of blue jean or chino that you might want to wear. Shoe number five, the tan suede Chelsea boot. Yeah. Yes, the Chelsea can be worn year round, but specifically a suede Chelsea in that light tan color looks awesome, especially in the summer months. Sport them with a slim pair of jeans with no break or you could stack them for that trendier streetwear vibe and you're good to go. I also love this color specifically because it goes really well with black jeans and white jeans and pretty much any color blue in between. They look really awesome. All right, fellas, those are the five types of shoes I suggest you have in your spring and summer wardrobe. Let me know in the comments which ones you love the most and which ones you are looking forward to wearing the most, especially as the weather warms up. And hey, if you're still looking to build that lean wardrobe of yours, why don't you go and check out my course? It's called Smart Sharp Style. I'm gonna link to it in the description box below, but I'm also gonna put a link right here. This is gonna break down everything you need to know in order to build a lean and versatile wardrobe that's gonna last you for years and all within your budget. I'm talking links, images, descriptions, everything you need to know all included in this course. I'm gonna include the link in the description below so you can click on that, check it out and learn more. And if you love it, I hope you join. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Cool, I will see y'all in the next one.